Hi all, welcome back to my channel. In this session, we will discuss all about IDE. So let's begin. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. Now what is IDE? It is an environment that helps you as a developer to develop softwares. Now that is about the full form of IDE. But why do we really need IDE? So let's talk about that. We need IDE to make the development easy in lot of aspects. Like if you are writing a code, you need to compile and run your program as well. Not just that, you want to debug your program also. So IDE helps you in compile, testing and debugging your modules. IDE helps you as a developer as a tool for your coding. IDE also provides you as an independent environment for your development. So in a nutshell, ID makes a developer's life easy for any software coding and it is very important for you as a developer to know about this. Now talking about feature of IDEs. So as I said, ID helps you to write code in compiling, run your code, debugging and not also there are a lot of other features and documentation that IDE provides. You can have your application running inside IDE by plugging a lot of other softwares as well. Now the next thing that you can think of is which IDE should you use for Java development. So for Java, we have various IDEs out there in the market by various companies but I have just captured few of those important and very popular IDEs like Eclipse, IntelliJ IDEA, NetBeans, BlueJ and there are a lot of other things which I have not captured because these are something which I feel is prominent at this point of time. Now out of this which one you should start as a beginner. So for beginners I would suggest to start with Eclipse and there are various reasons which I will be talking about that as well. And one point to highlight here is these IDEs is specific for your Java development but like for other languages also we have various IDEs like Visual Studio from Microsoft, we have Android from Google and so on. Okay, So there are a lot of IDEs provided for each set of languages which as a developer we can use. I would recommend Eclipse because of bunch of reasons. Eclipse is open source and free with a huge range of plugins. So plugins are like another small software that you can uh, integrate with your existing IDs and you can do a lot of stuff there. Second thing is Eclipse is good for beginners. If you are an absolute beginner, you will find Eclipse very easy to start the coding. And you don't need any prior experience or any knowledge with that. And third thing is Eclipse is multi-purpose. Okay, so there are a bunch of features that you can do with Eclipse very easily which I will be talking about in my further videos. So that's all for today and in the next video I'll be talking about Eclipse and JDK installation on your local machine so that you can set up all these things and start the coding. Please like and subscribe for upcoming Java boosters. Thank you so much.